It's time to take the fight to Mesa Island, clear this barrier, and potentially take down this newly reborn Dweller of Strife. Let's find out in today's episode of Sea of Stars. Right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on yet another Sea of Stars video. The last episode, we were able to get Rashawn, the Immortal Alchemist. Yes, that Immortal Alchemist, the Archivist himself, to join our party? Listen, dude, I don't know either, but he looks dope. Love the purple vibes going on. And also comes with uh, some interesting skills. And by interesting, I mean, holy smokes, this guy is going to be amazing. Haven't used him in combat yet, so today is going to be the premiere of Rashan. He has Abeyance, Eb, Petrichor, Pet, Petri, Petri, Pet, Petri, 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 Pet, Petri, Pet, and an ultimate. So we're gonna see what what all those do. As soon as we head over to this area here, the Mesa hike. We are on Mesa Island. There's only one place we can go. So let's do it. The music? Oh. Oh, I don't I don't know. But I'm into it. What's this way? Nothing? All right. This is really cool. Oh. Right, we were told face. Now, a hundred and fifty years should do it. Good morning, Kukar. Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. The water has risen quite a lot. How long was I asleep? Uh, in a relevant matter. Ephraim left a long time ago, and his acolytes have lost most of their powers. It will not happen again anytime soon. I understand. How can I help? These people are your friends. I understand. Your turn. Uh... Hello, Kukar. Greetings, friend. Can you help us in any way? My main duty is to hold Mesa Island at this precise altitude. Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I will gladly oblige, friend. Uh, wait a minute. Holding it at this altitude... So there wasn't water here. Wait, does that mean all of the islands were once suspended in the air, but why? Well then, could you remove the barrier so we can get onto it? Oh? Surely you know of the evil castle that sits there. It is no place to send a friend. That's still where we are headed. I will not send friends into danger, I refuse. Good morning, Kukar. Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. How can I help? These people are adventurers on a very important mission and require your help. I understand. Try again. Uh, just same thing? Please. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, adventurer. Have you met my brothers, Ixtul and Yeet? I can help you get to them in no time. Just sail into my mouth and choose a destination. Uh, that's 
Okay, that does sound useful. Uh, but for now, what we need is for you to remove the barrier on the island. I see. One moment, please. I am... Huh. Oh, hey. There it is. Thanks, Kukar. Naturally. Safe travels, adventurers. Uh, up we go then. Lead the way. Bye, Kukar. Can we talk to you? If you need to fast travel, just sail your boat straight into my mouth. So, so Rashawn was using time to, like, adjust when Kukar was experiencing us? Is that... I think that's what was happening. And that is just really weird. All right, well... I really like this, like... I like his headpiece, but more importantly, the part about it looks like a giant maybe snake cap or something. The important thing, though, is the idea. Oh, look at his eye. Oh, that's so cool. Is the idea that he's holding it at a specific altitude. He didn't mention anything about the water this time, though, as if he knew that the water was. So maybe Rashawn overshot the time. I don't. I don't know. And we have Autumn Hills. I like the different vibes here. Mesa Hike. Autumn Hills. Interesting. Finally on Mesa Island, are you ready for the big confrontation? If a Erlina and Brewgaves get in our way, I won't hesitate. Okay. It's nice to stretch my legs a bit. Under no circumstances am I fighting a dweller. Okay. Interesting. The Clockwork Castle is on the east side of Mesa Island. We'll have to cross it on foot. The Acolytes are probably watching. Don't let your guard down. Huh. Okay. Zale, what do you got to say? Mesa Island. It was about time. Berlina and Bru Brugaves. I still can't believe what they did. Brugaves! You never know. Maybe we'll check the camp one day and they'll, like, give us an item or something. Anyways, Autumn Hills it is. Today's episode might very well be a big one, friends. The music? Hello? Oh, this is about to this is about to drop. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. What is this? Honey? Oh, nice. Also okay, that's like That looks like a Mega Man enemy. I love that. Let's go! Oh, the music is so dope, though. All right, can we use? Yes! Gotcha! All right, we're fighting some talks, they're called. Also, they are weak to poison, but we haven't been able to see our boy Rashawn yet do anything. Remove some random lock on the target. We can heal. We have his ultimate. I think we're going to use abeyance, or we just attack with him. Let's boost and attack with him. Ooh, okay. Which one is the timer? All right, I, Rashawn keeps moving. I don't know where he's going. So they're weak to, oddly enough, they're, they look like they are wood. You would think that they would be weak to sunball, but it looks to me like they're actually, well, they are weak to poison. Got the block on that. All right, let's figure out Rashawn's timing here. I do not know. Ton of XP, though. Dang. I don't know if it's the first one or the second one. Go down here. We can grab an item, and it is a Oaken Armor. Let's go ahead and equip that on... Well, that's pretty darn good. And hardened by craftsmen of a bygone era. Plus six defense, plus five magic attack. Oh, I feel like maybe... Yeah, okay. I feel like... I feel like... I feel like our girl Valir should get it. 
Yeah, nobody else can, so we'll give her the oaken armor. Looks pretty darn good. I am loving the music here, though. So good. Look at this area. This is amazing. I'm telling you, every single episode, I'm pretty sure we get to a new region, and I just go, wow. Jaw hits the floor. And it's just beautiful. Anything hidden over here? I don't think so. Ooh. Are these, like, constructs? Grassassin. Ah, yeah. These ones, though, are indeed weak to fire. Sunball. So we're going to do double boost because we can. Sunball. Who cares if you have a lock on you? When we can just delete you. Ow. Sorry, Zale. All right, so we can do... Abeyance? Well, his attack has... His attack has poison venom damage as well. Ah, the timing is to get the second hit. I see. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Doesn't seem like he does a lot of damage with his attacks, though, which is interesting. Looks like... Okay, I wanted to check if there was anything over there. There is not, so let's climb up this. Looks like there... Oddly enough, we can also... Hmm. Oh, because we can jump from... I see. Yeah, baby. But uh, we're going to drop down so we can grab this honey. Is that... I think that's honey. Or maple syrup. I think we saw maple syrup being sold at one of the shops. Fair. Oh, it's maple syrup. Okay, that makes sense. Autumn, pine trees. Okay. I didn't know we were in the northeast here. There we go. I, sometimes I forget that the grapplu can go directly onto wood stuff like that. Head down here. God, the music is so good. We have leaf piles. We need to move them out of the way. Can I, like, stack them all up? What happens if I do that? I, okay. Maybe we need to use it for something. Let's go ahead and do both of these. Oh, cool. Flip that. guessing if we do the we don't have time to get all of them it looks like if we do that we can oh what is that please tell me it's a combo with Rashawn it is Valir and Rashawn learned combo skill arcane moons let's see what that is real quick Arcane and Lunar Magic damage to all targets. Only one combo point. I love seeing that. Well, fine. Yeah! Nice. Ooh, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and see this combo Arcane Moons here. We'll get a boost and then Arcane Moons. Oh, that was... Oh, that was so cool. 2,000 XP for those, by the way. Why do they give dairy? I don't... You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know why those give dairy. I don't want no... I don't want no whatever that is. Hello? Some people say this is a bad spot for a shop, but I bet others will follow in my tracks. I... Why are you here? We have a music sheet number four, though. We need to buy that. And then an ornate bow, perfectly balanced. A bow staff for Valir. Yeah, we're going to pick that up. I think we're going to wait on the oaken armor for now, even though it is good for Zale. Like, it's still pretty darn good. The ornate ornate bow. Bow. Bow staff. 
Bow staff. That's what we need. We're going to keep the coral staff. I think we can sell that, actually, but that's okay. All right. We're... Now Valir is going to pop off, right? Now she's going to be like, look how much damage I can do. Okay, probably not that much more because it seems to be fairly incremental, but... Missed the days of getting armor that was 10% more to undead or what have you. We haven't gotten anything like that in a little while. I'll grab that maple syrup. And then I think we're going to come over here. Ooh, there's something up there. What is that? Was oh, that just something shining in the tree? I think so, actually. Use that to come over here. In case we didn't want to fight these. Obviously we do. Who wouldn't? Oh, I think we can actually... So we can push that over. Well, let's see what we can do then. Because this leads to another chest with a maple cork. That's an increase for Rashan or a new weapon for Rashan. Increasing magic attack by four and attack by three. Heavy for its size. Well, hey, there you go. Maple syrup. Maple. Love it. All right, but we actually need to throw that. This block needs to go this way. And then... Probably just do it there, right? Yeah. We're going to come down and deal with these guys first, though, because, you know, who are we? We're nobody if we don't, if we don't mess them up. Still not entirely sure what his timings are, but... We'll figure them out as we go. Think we got everything else we can. There was really no reason to fight those outside of, you know, 2,000 experience. And I we might have everybody in our team right now, y'all. Like we, I think we have a full party based on that menu and then the cargo. I think we have a full menu. Full menu? You know what I mean. Nothing in that rock or that... I feel like kind of want to... There's got to be something in that stump. Oh, look at... This is so... What a cool... What, somebody built a treehouse or something? That's what it looks like to me. Let's see what we can do here. I was like, maybe there's something under here. Nope. All right, well, we just got to climb up the treehouse. Nice. This is really cool. Oh, you see that rainbow conch over there? I see that rainbow conch over there. Let's grab that rainbow conch over there. Oh, yeah. So that leaves us at... We need a episode check here. 42 rainbow conches as of so far. And I believe that's as many as we can get at this point in the game. Hop down here. Woo! Be careful not to jump off the edge, because I'm pretty sure you could. What are those? I can't tell what that is. It's something up there, though. It almost looks like a translucent, I don't know, bat? Let's see what we could do for skills here. No, I actually want to... We'll use Garl's Nourish, just because it does so much. But I do want to see, at some point during this, I want to see Rashawn's attack his heal i should say get an attack out on those oh this is a lot of enemies oh but these are like the these are like the snowballs but now they're dirty 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 all right let's go ahead and do a boost here on rashan and then we'll ebb not ebb abeyance So, gone are the days of Garl's, like, I don't know why you would use Garl. Garl's Hurl kind of seems like it's no longer great. Poor guy. Go ahead and use Lunar Shield now that we have the new accessory, which I didn't even show you, but we got it in the last episode, and it is amazing. Mirror attack. We haven't seen this yet. Well, I'm glad we used Lunar Shield then. I'm going to go ahead and use Arcane Moons and hope that it does some pretty big damage. See if we can figure out the timing on this one. Oh, that is so cool looking, though. 
Get a boost on Rashawn. Ah, that is amazing. That also gave us 3,000 XP there. So if you do the timing on Rashawn, it's actually three attacks, it looks like. If you do the if you do the timing, he will. That is very interesting, actually. So he did one, right? He tosses it, then he hits them, then he if you time that one too, then he throws it at one of the other enemies that was also there. Wildly cool. Looks like we're still using the whirlpool stuff. I love it. Giving us access to all of these things that we've unlocked as we've gone. Big fan. One of the thing I don't know how like big this game is, uh, but but like I'm assuming we're nowhere near the end. You know, we got a parfait, a recipe for a parfait. Everybody loves parfaits. And then I can can I. Or no, because we're underwater. I was like, can I change the... Like how the the audio shifts when you're underwater. Hmm, not seeing anything over there either. Oh, okay. I was like, how do we get to the area where I saw the prawns and stuff? Or the seafood, or whatever you want to call them. Shrimp? Prawns? It's a bunch of them there. And then we're going to use this one to go up. I didn't see anything else in here. Perfect. Go up here just so that we can flip this for a shortcut. Perfect. So we don't have to keep doing the whirlpool thingy. Nothing over here. Might as well check, you know. Yeah. All right, we desperately need some heals here. Unfortunately, he needs 12 NP to be able to do that. We're gonna go ahead and swap to Sarai, who's gonna boost, double boost. We haven't used her yet. Venom Flurry, so we can use break the lock on this. I actually might just end up using Sarai a little bit more here. All right, so much XP from these. 2k XP, man. That is a lot. That thing looks scary. Like, do we, like, climb that? I don't know. <laughs> that that pole with all the spikes on it, do we climb that? No, 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 you don't. In fact, maybe you do. Uh, like, kind of looks like there's a... Nope, there's nothing there. Damn. Dang. I'm actually surprised we're going this long without a camp or a save point, too, but maybe these enemies are just a little bit tougher, which is good. They should be at this point. Almost looked like there was something over here. Nope. All right, into this cave. This is... Oh, God, I love it. I love the music. It's so good. So this is the Mesa Island is home of like the Necromancer's castle. He or the sorry, the flesh the Fleshmancer's castle. Swap to Sarai, who can use another Venom Flurry because she gets too so much. We're gonna do a triple boost Venom Flurry. We'll be able to take these out no problem, right? Deleted! Another Oh, so much XP. We're actually going to be able to level up, I think, real soon here. I want more items, though. That's the important thing. Give me more items. Maybe some fun accessories. I feel like we haven't gotten too many accessories. I want some good ones here. We got another snowball enemy. Let's actually see if we can... Uh, we're going to use... We're gonna use Zale here just to heal people up a little bit. Okay, didn't expect to see that one there. We're going to use Valir. Break this lock. And let's go ahead and check out Rashawn's healer. Healering ability here, because we actually haven't seen that yet. Focus on Valir. 
Oh, so maybe like right when they touch is the timing for that one. That is tough. And let Sarai finish that off. Beautiful. I think this might be the party we end up rocking here because they're quite good. We are so close to another level up too. Love to see it. Some of these fights though are pretty tough. I just, it's its because of the Rashan timings. I just got to figure those out. It does feel like his attack is a is an attack all. Just his basic attack, which is kind of wild actually. Which, you know, makes sense. I mean, he said that he was going to bring his power level back down to match ours, and oh my gosh. Wow. Clockwork Castle, I believe, is what Sarai called that. Wow. Pixels, man. Wow. Wow. All right, that's what we need is a save point. Holy smokies, artichokies. Yeah, look at that is so dope. The moon in the back. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's go ahead and rest here. And of course, we're going to save because I am sure that we're going to be facing something here. There's berries hidden on the side here too. Huh. Huh. Well, let's open this door. That's it for the Autumn Hills area. Oh, maybe not. Strolling minstrel, when the moon shines bright on autumn leaves, autumn sheaves, comes forth the abomination of roots and leaves. Uh, so, oh, I see. So you want me to do this, throw those into this pile. And then, are we creating our own boss fight right now? Or at least, I think so. Can't go this way. We'll do, ah, look at that. Beautiful. Well. Holy smokes. Leaf monster. Well, I can dash strike to break his lock. Let's go ahead and do it. Zero damage. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, we do no damage to him. What, he's moving all, throw leaves. Oh, and now we can hit him with... Oh, I see. Ha-ha. This is funny. Nice. Moon Rang 2. 142 damage. Oh, and then they come back. That's so cool. All right, big fan of this boss. Big fan, but we can't do anything, so we need to just build up our boost here while he's doing this. We can actually... We can still break stuff. Which I think we want to do. Alright, and then throw leaves again. Is that all he does, I wonder? We have not seen item roulette yet from Garl and Sarai, so let's see what it does. Rubber duck. Uh, okay. I mean, that was really weird, Garl. Let's 
Let's go ahead and see if we can attack him. Still does 50 damage. Okay, and then he also does that melee attack, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal. And throw leaves. Let's do a big boost here, and we'll phase shiv? Yeah, let's do it. Hundred and ninety damage. Holy smokes. Solstice strike. Yeah, let's do it. Detritus Fallen. We're taking down that boss. That was a little bit more of a gimmick one, but I liked it. What was that, though? Huh. Leaf monster. I mean, that was a... That was a boss, right? We didn't get any XP from it, I don't think, so... Must have been. Brew Gaves, what are you doing here, dude? Oh, no. Twenty years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Erlina. Come on, Brugaves. We're going to miss them if they don't hurry. <sighs> Wait for me. Little... Oh. There you are, little ones. We're too late. I wanted to see the headmistress in her battle gear. How'd she look? As fabulous as ever. How long is the cleansing? Maybe we can catch her when everyone returns. You just might. Today's cleansing will be performed by the biggest group to ever take down a dweller. You can expect a swift return. Maybe we should just sit here then, huh? <laughs> don't forget to do your chores now, huh? Oh, come on. We don't even get a break for the eclipse. Not if you want the twins to play with you later. The twins. Wait a minute. He woke up from a sweat and said... Something about... Not the twins. Fine. <laughs> Be good now. I thought he meant, like, like just talking about Valir and Vale, uh, Zale, but. Whoa, I can feel the magic coursing through me. You mean you don't always feel it? The tingling? No, this is new. I wish I could see Headmistress Moyara fighting. I bet she takes down the Dweller on her own. She could, but the twins have to do some spins and flips and combine their weapons like they showed us. Right. So the twins were their mentors? No more Eclipse. They must be on their way back now. Hey, so when we grow up, will we have to fight big monsters too? That's the plan for us, just like anyone else born on a solstice. Doesn't that scare you? Not really. It's not like we'll be alone. And no matter what happens, I'll always protect you. You know that, right? Brugaves? Fine, you sleep. I'll keep watch. Huh. <sighs> A few hours later. They have returned! But we know that it didn't go, it didn't go well. Oh, Moraine. Help! Moraine is gravely hurt!
and only Moraine survived. It will take him a while to heal, too, by the looks of it. At least the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. But we lost so many. Mayara and the twins? Moraine will never be the same again. Hey, does that mean he's the headmaster now? Who else? A few months later, at Zenith Academy. Focus, Brugaves. You'll never become strong enough if you don't develop your innate magic. I'm trying. Then try harder. You are way too slow. Hey, how about a bit of patience? Do not interfere. Or what? Erlina! That will be all for today. Grumpy old man. Hey, what if we left? You mean right now? Why not? I can move the platform now, so maybe I can also open the Forbidden Cavern. Sure beats staying here. And you always wanted to be like Moyara. Over 20 solstice warriors died that day, and what, we just move on? I was dumb. I don't want to be a hero anymore. I never wanted to be one. No matter what I do, Moraine always says I'm not fast enough. I just feel awful. I know, Brugaves. If there's a way out, I'll find it for us. Well, I'm cold. And I'm hungry. We're helpless. All right, let's go back. Back to learning magic. Yay. Later that year at the Winter Solstice Festival. Look, the Great Eagle! A new child of the solstice is born. Read the name. Valir? Valir! Welcome, Valir. May Luana's might protect you. May Luana's might protect you! Six months later, at the summer solstice festival. Did you hear that? The Great Eagle deliveries on two solstices in a row. A blessed year. And bloop, little baby Zale. Come on, read the name. Zale. Welcome, Zale. May Solon's light guide you. May Solon's light guide you. A few years later. Ah, now we're talking. Keep it up, Valir. Yeah, yeah! Yay, the snacks are ready! Oh, little girl. Oh, are you two joining us? There's plenty for everyone, but I'm not sure we can show you our secret hideout. No time. We have to report to the headmaster. Okay, but please don't look which way we're going. Last one there does the dishes. I remember when we were that age. Zale and Valir always make me smile. We should leave now. Our next meeting is today at dusk. Right. Meeting? How long have they been in cahoots with... So you are willing to hear us out this time? You would rather do without the burden of the Solstice Warrior life, yes? A fresh start, perhaps? What exactly are you offering? A way out. We believe you will deem our terms interesting. Interesting and fruitful, too. Then speak up. We will handle everything else, but only solstice warriors can conjure a blood moon. But 
this world would be destroyed. Not before you got to leave it for a more favorable one. Can you guarantee Brugaves will be safe? Arlena, I... Naturally. We even have ways to make you forget, if that is your wish. Forget and become stronger, too. So, what will it be? Oh, what the hecka? The Dweller of Woe isn't that powerful. You know we can take it. Of course, but that other one, no one knows about in a mountain that wipes memories? It's been growing for a long time. The Acolytes could be bluffing. Not given the knowledge they had of the Matriarch. Plus, it explains the seal. Can't you see this world is doomed regardless? Moraine never stopped being a mess, and the kids are way too young to be of any help. I can't accept leaving Zale and Valir behind to die like this. We will add a condition that they can go and live with you. Wouldn't you like that? But what if they refuse? The Acolytes need us for the Blood Moon. They'll have no choice but to accept. Not them, I meant... Hey, wait! Let's pretend for now. We'll talk later. There you are! Playing in your secret hideout again? We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? We saw this scene at the very beginning. <gasps> they have been planning this for so long. Jeez, Louise. Zale, Valir, please understand. Please accept. You were afraid of the... The Dweller of Torment, and we, we did it. Not you. We did it. All right, so we got Bamboo Creek that we can go to, as well as Song Shroom Marsh, and then a fishing place as well, Lake Turquoise. Let's check that out. I, so, why, whatever Erlina has, whatever the deal is, does she become the Dweller of Strife? Is that the idea? Three new fish that we can catch here. And we get the Clockwork Crab. Nice. Next. And we get... A swordfish. Fillet that one too. And there we go. The last one we needed, a ninja starfish. Yeah, we'll go ahead and catch that. Sure. Nice. So out of Lake Turquoise, we got three new ones. Clockwork crab, swordfish, and a ninja starfish. Add that to the list, baby. So I think we should check out Bamboo. Yeah, it looks like Songshroom Marsh takes us to the castle. So let's check out, check out Bamboo, Bamboo Creek, where we can find... A bamboo slicer for our boy Zale. Sharp with a greenish hue. Magic attack plus four, love that. And plus three attack. All right, and how do we get... We gotta figure out a way of getting the rainbow conch as well. Maybe we can just... Oh, we can just go get it. <laughs> I was like, oh, we gotta jump underwater, but... Nope, there we go, we got a rainbow conch. Sweet, that's 43, I believe. The gruesome statue stands, a testament of struggles from a time long past. I wonder if this is where they were talking about the... Huh. Nothing else we can get here, though, huh? Well, worth going there, then. And we're going to the only place we can, Song Shroom Marsh. Oh, this place looks neat. <laughs> it's just every area just feels so different, so unique. I'm I'm a big fan of like are Oh my god, this music's so good too. What is up with this, man? This area's Let's go, Mesa Island. That shroom has a face on it. That's so cute. Oh, they, a lot of them do. Okay. Hi, cutie patooties. I'm going to take some of your mushroom friends. Sorry. Jump across here. Yeah, let's go. I know I saw.
the mushrooms were just singing the song. Holy sh... Oh my... Wah. I checked the cape real quick just to see if we had any new dialogue and uh, didn't see anything, but I also came over here, grabbed some mushrooms. My controller died. As usual. PlayStation 5, you know? Oh, oh, you are really cool looking. You are really cool looking. Look at these little turtle dudes. The Fung Toys. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a Rashan area, huh? Well, let's do it. Let's, uh... Let's switch Valir, maybe? Nope, let's switch Sarai with... Rashan? We'll do double boost here. And see if we can get some timing. Ah, not enough, though. Go ahead and break his lock. They do resist uh, slashing and blunt damage. Oh, that has, oh, that's fun. It's got like a little delay to it. Let's use Sunball here. I don't think it's gonna do much, but hey, might as well. Ah, I mean, it's still pretty good. Oh, it looks like you can throw it so you can throw one before... Oh, I got the timing on that one. That one's tough, though. Actually, let's, uh... Take out that Fung Toys. And then we won't actually be able to... Use Healing Light here on Zale. I don't want to see what their uh, what their lock looks like. Woo! That was spicy. That was a lot of damage, and we get a level up. That's right. Forgot how close we were. Uh, Zale, let's give you. Oh, jeez. I actually don't know. I mean, obviously, mag magic attack, right? Like, we don't need to give you more health, even though Zale does have the lowest health out of everybody. I think we just give him more magic attack. Our boy Garl's gonna go with... Let's just give the guy more health, man. That's what he's for, right? Outlasting the enemy. Rashawn, our first level up for our miracle man here. Uh, I think we're gonna do... I think we're just gonna do plus two magic attack, right? Sarai, of course, is gonna go with more MP because more disorient is real good. And of course, Valir is also gonna take MP, giving her 19 here. We get meat from those Fung Toys there. Fung Toys? I can't believe these mushrooms start singing the song. It is ridiculously cool. Oh, hello. These guys are awesome looking. Shroomy, shroomy night. Ooh, they actually take reduced damage to arcane and... That's interesting. Fungus spike. Ooh, okay. That's actually a really cool... I like these guys. Pretty easy to block most of these attacks, or at least get the timing right on most of them. Yeah, the Rashawn is just, I, it's just gonna take some practice, I guess, trying to get his stuff right. There we go, break that real quick. I think we got the timing on that, I don't know. Almost 30k XP now to level up. To level 13, I believe. Kind of feels like you'll just level up as you go. Like you'll just you'll just eventually get there, you know. Let's check this way first, because I see that item there, and I'm hoping for a good one, baby. Even money would be very useful here. 
Uh, Leaf Cape. That is probably going to go on Rashawn. Yeah, brimming with ancient magic. Gives him plus two defense. Gives her plus three defense. I might be able to just give that to her and then give him the... Ah, I guess he just doesn't need it. I guess that makes sense based on those. That's okay. She gets a better benefit from it, so we'll give it to Sarai. We have a little thing that we could shimmy around here. Very cool. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. Such a cool area. Everything is so cool. God, this game is so good all the time. Look at them singing. more enemies over here. Let's grapple them. Remember, we do have that relic or the uh, accessory equipped there that gives us a huge plus two to our our boost whenever we, whenever if we use a grapple or an attack to start battle, that did nothing. Oh man. Whew, the timing on that's a little hard. These guys are really just, just melee them. And not with Rashawn either, because dang. It's so cool. All right, I actually see that there is something there that we, we need to raise that up. Looks like there's a lever right there we can use to do such things. Nice. Looks like we probably don't want to go in this water either. I don't know. It just looks like we we might not be able to actually drop that box. We'll be able to go down here. God, I love this area. It's so cool. Zanger Marsh could never. Like, I almost wonder... What is that? Why is that? It's like just weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that's happening. Like, does somebody live here? I thought that this would just all be the Fleshmancer's Island, but apparently not. Hello, you. Oh, where are you going? Maple syrup, though. All right, that, that guy ran away, so hopefully he's not going to... Oh, there he is. I feel like it's a trap. Is it a trap? It feels like a trap. Let's go up here first. I don't trust that guy. Oh, an item! Three obsidian ore. All right. Uh, looks like we can't... Well, let's just beat up this guy then. Oh, no! Whoa! Okay, wasn't expecting that. It's a trap! Alright, why don't we do... Abeyance? Doesn't really matter on who now, does it? Ah, oh, that is... But, but like, now they're all... That is so cool. And we're gonna go ahead and actually use... Garl, he's gonna use the double boost here, and we're gonna use Cooker Surprise, actually. Because it feels like magic and all that doesn't really hurt these things, but maybe... Maybe this is Garl's time to shine. Certainly didn't do too bad. I wonder why they're all going for Rashan. Very weird. Alright, but we do have enough MP to throw another Cooker Surprise. I feel like Garl is actually the hidden secret to these guys. Deleted all of them for a ton of XP there. Love to see that. Having some weird, like, movement glitch here. What is up with that? And now from here, can we climb? We can climb those. Looks like we can also draw. Okay, we can. Well. Well, wait a minute. Wait just a gosh darn second. Looks like actually, if we go back up, if we just jump down here instead of... 
we'll land here and we'll be able to get a spirit of ninja huh which is combo points build 10 percent faster we'll go ahead and give that to rashawn because he doesn't need the abacus it's overkill And then now that we're down here, looks like we need to blow these. Ah, and there's a lever up there we can just flip. Sweet. And then head back up. We're cruising here. Maybe. Now we can do this again. So maybe we did that a little early, but that's okay. Now we can come here, flip this switch. Oh, uh, look at that little, oh shoot. <laughs> You didn't see that? Another room. This is really cool. Like, whose swamp is this? Shrek comes out of nowhere and is like, This is my swamp! Looks like we also have a... Looks like this big mushroom should react to the time of day. Oh, what? That's so cool. All right, but there's also these here. Do we use these ones first, maybe? Brought us over to at least shrooms, so maybe not. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can actually... I changed the time of day, though. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go back this way then. I feel like the game just keeps getting- Whoa, those make you jump! Oh, that's cool. I can't get over the singing mushrooms, it's so cool. Alright, we got... Fung Tortoise. I knew that was an- I was like, that looks like an enemy, but... Well, I guess not. Ah, uh, unfortunately, ah, uh, that stinks. All right, we're gonna do... Break this. And then I think Rashawn's gonna go at... Oh, Rashawn doesn't have enough, so we're gonna have to use... I'm gonna have to use a Moon Cradle Fish Pie here, I think. All right, well, we're about to find out what these do. Spin Tackle. Okay, a lot of single target damage. Got it. We'll do a triple boost here and sunball. Deleted. And all that's left is the fun funks turtle. We'll be able to throw some potions at it. Nice, easy peasy. 1800 experience points for the gang. And then we have this as well, so we can go ahead and do that. Huh. So you need to do it. Okay, interesting. Whoa, no. Can I go back? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, kind of skipped a whole area there. Wait, I just realized something while I'm fighting these actually relatively tough enemies. Didn't Yamara, wasn't the story of Yamara that she lived in a swamp? Yamara being the neutral sister, the sister that wouldn't get involved with anything. There we go. Took those down for another 1800 XP. I mean, it is a lot. It's like 10 encounters and you'll you'll get a level up. Uh, I feel like I missed stuff over there, but I can't get back over there right now. Maybe I can. Maybe we just have to go this way and then we'll be able to. More shrooms for us here in the shroom, shroom, song shroom marsh. I should have known by song shroom that the shrooms would sing. Obviously. Huh. 
Ah, okay. Can we... Okay, we can't jump in the water, but we can go on there. So I think this is where we were. Okay, this is where we were before we jumped over. Before we did this... The time puzzle here. I'm trying to figure out why that... Is there like that. Okay, so... We want to go down here first. Oh, was that it? It was just for mushrooms? Oh, darn it. I'm a fool. A foolish fool. And we'll go back to where we are supposed to go, which is up here. We unlock this so we can go across the bridge. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this game so much, y'all. See this door here. Can we interact with it? We don't have anything for it. Okay. I think we're about to find Yamara, the third sister. We know Moyara, Moyara, Mo, Moyara, 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 the good one was the headmaster of the Zenith Academy. We know that the bad one was Romaya, who we already fought. Yamara was the one who lived out her days in neutrality. Do you think someone lives here? Nope. Oh my god. Welcome. Welcome. I'm Yamara. A simple hermit. Yeah, we've already met your sister. Please, there's no need for that tone. Romaya's evil ways are precisely that. Romayas, I am but a neutral observer in the affairs of this world. You're a seer, aren't you? Does that mean we're getting a prophecy again? Why, if it ain't the warrior cook? I have been expecting you. Please eat a fruit from my tree. Why did they make her just look like... Really? Don't mind if I do. Garl, a dude. Just one now. The taste is unbelievable. What are they called? Pears. Well, I would never use pears for cooking. They're perfect just the way they are. I knew you were the chosen one. Huh? Being a seer has its perks, like knowing who is capable of fully appreciating a fresh pear. Um, so that's it. Yes, the threads of fate seldom speak to me about the near future. I only deal in the cataloging of grander arcs. My apologies, but I have no insights for you. You. You are... A cold breeze is rising. Why don't you come in for a little bit? Well, she knew exactly who Rashan was immediately. Now, which volume was it? Probably somewhere with my older work. The spirit that will carry the night. I was really overthinking titles back then. Primal fear. No. Oh, that's where I put a weight of seasons. Uh. Ah, there it is. Ethereal Occurrences, Volume 2. Let's see here. Ah. Mm, oh, yes, I remember now. Uh, another prophecy? This is exciting. Ahem. Immortal alchemist. Hee <laughs> hee. Step forward. Uh, excuse me? I, uh, I... You can fancy yourself a god if you like, but you remain bound by fate all the same. 
Now, listen up. During your travels with these young adventurers, you will meet the dead of a forgotten race. Among them will be one asking to fight alongside solstice warriors. Be welcoming, for this entity's unbreakable will is the key to achieving the one great feat of alchemy that eludes you still. What is she talking about? Living glass. Could it truly be? Thank you, Crone of the Marsh. That was rude. That will be all. I carry a small inventory of items for sale if you need, and the fireplace is yours if you want to cook a rest. Oh, and you will need a key to progress further. Here. Yamara's key. I love how it's got shrooms on it. Thanks, Yamara. Be well. All right, well, that's all three sisters kind of accounted for then. Feel free to rest at the fireplace. Do we need anything? Maple cork, we already have one of those. We already have an eye of Yamara, so we don't need to worry about that. We already spent way too much gosh darn money on that. Hey, Garl, though, could actually really use that leaf cape. I didn't even know that he could use it. So let's go ahead and sell our things here and buy him a leaf cape. Yeah. Perfect. We'll keep that because, again, I want one of everything for no other reason than I'm a fool. All right, rested, saved, bought stuff from Yamara, which, by the way, so cool. And look at behind her house, we can find a rainbow conch. Yeah, which brings our total to 44 rainbow conches. I think there was a reward, if I'm not mistaken, at... And also, we're going to raid her garden, because why not? I think there was a reward at 45, I want to say, is what it said. Uh, but... I mean, we got to go all the way back to Dakari, Dakari Village. I'm sure it'll be worth, but still, we're on a mission here, okay? We got to stop the Dweller of Strife before it gains power and hopefully help Erlina in Brewgaves because it doesn't feel like they're evil. They're just... They just don't want to do this anymore. Not that much different than... Moraine, to be honest with you. So, hopefully we can find our, uh, find our, I don't know. Yamara's key, there we go. We get another bug to fight here. A yeah, bug? I don't, what is it? And Zale's gonna do a big boost, and we're just going to say hasta la vista to these bug babies. Grass? Plant? Doesn't matter, they're dead now. 1200 XP for that, by the way, for just hitting them once. Love it. Like, I'm not worried about a boss fight popping up, but you never... Question pack number five! We do need to go and do those as well, because it has been a little while, actually. And we can hop on here, put this up. There we go. Looks like there's another thing over there that we can't mess with can hop down there if we so choose, but we're not going to do that because we got a pathway to go here. The mushrooms are so cute. They're so forking cute. All right. Definitely a little bit twisty of a layout, but I like it. Like, can we jump down there? No? Okay. Get a ladder, unroll that. Doesn't look like there's anything over there, so we're going to go this way, and then I guess, well, we could go nothing under here. There is a cave here, though. Let's check that out. Uh, with more fungus turtles, it looks like. Ah, we were still able to get the attack. I love that. We're going to use a bayons here to pull them all together. See if we can get the timing right on this, too. Ah, uh, not really. All right, defeated them, grabbed their meats because in onions, meat and onions, they smell delicious. We have another item that's, I'm down for that. Grab these shrooms real quick. Whoops. I'm so bad. Climb up here, come down and hopefully we get, I still want like a really good shroomy shivs. Didn't we literally just get 
We just got phantom daggers, didn't we? Already we're getting increases potency of venom attacks. Oh, okay. And then gives plus four to magic attacks. So, uh, I mean, it's still an improvement, but that's interesting. So we're gonna continue this way. Looks like we can hop over here, grab this ladder and we can pop on down, baby. What is this way? Ah, we need to do this first. We have another area here. I feel like this, let's go here first. I feel like maybe there's something. I feel, oh, there's another cave right here. Oh, I saw it. There was an item, a scroll of some kind, it looked like. All right, Rashawn. And we can use Arcane Moons, which should be enough. Oh, yeah, that did so much damage. And then this just has four. Huh. Not bad. And then we can grab the treasure that I see here, which is a another combo, maybe? And it is for Garl and Rashan. Learn the com combo skill Venom Bomb. So it basically just turns his cooker into a area damage. Area damage of, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll take that. Area blunt and Venom damage. All right, and then now we I think we can go back this way. I don't think we're missing anything. Looks like we're pretty good here. How do I know? I really like this section. I mean, it's a little, uh, it's like, it feels sprawling to me, but that's cool, like in a good way. And like, hey, we got to see, we got to find Yamara, the third sister. Raise this one up. The third and final sister, because, you know, the other one uh, is dead. Or is she? We actually don't really know. That's the thing. If the Dweller of Strife, like, how did the Dweller of Strife kill everybody? Who are the twins? Like, surely we're going to find some of this stuff out, right? Guess we'll just head through here. Hello. I, you know what it feels like? It feels endgamey. Like, it feels like a really big dungeon that feels very endgamey. I don't think it is, but... Looks like they have enemies training. Looks like we can actually do this in multiple ways. Let me go up here first. And... Let's go ahead and use Garl to do a quick... Yeah. All right, that's a lot of enemies. We're gonna go ahead and use, uh... We'll choose to ebb them all over onto this guy. The Grass Assassin. Just to get them all in the same spot. Nice. These guys are really easy to block their stuff, and I enjoy that. Then we're gonna use the cooker surprise on these last two shrooms, guys. Didn't delete that one, but hey, that's okay. Ow. It feels like they're smacking me with a sword. It doesn't even necessarily feel like they're doing anything else. All right, there we go. Cleared those out for almost 2,500 XP, almost getting another level, believe it or not. See, so we can flip this switch here. Extends that way out. I wonder if there is... There's another switch over there. How do we get that, though? Oh, we can just cross... Uh, I did not see that there was a, a little... Don't look at me that way. All right, there we go. Shortcut, if you will. Not seeing any items or anything, though, which is very strange, but... Feels like a really large chasm to not have anything in, but 
That's okay. And let's go through here. Heading still to the Clockwork Castle, right? The Fleshmancer's Castle? I don't know, man. Like, maybe we're actually getting near the end. With the singing mushrooms, the music feels like we're getting... Like, things are happening. There's a save point. Uh-oh. Clockwork Conundrum is the name of this area. We're 27 hours in. That does not entirely accurate because, you know, recording times, but... All right, let's see what awaits us. I think we're, we might be on... Oh, yep, we're on the world map. I am actually shocked. Okay. So we have something here. And then, of course, Clockwork Castle itself next to this mountain thing but what is what is this oh oh well that's cool we get a little shortcut this game is so good at being like hey we're not gonna make you walk all the way through there okay we're not that mean i love them well we made it through yamara's song shroom camp made it all the way through autumn hills in this episode and in the next one we're going to the Clockwork Castle. Seeing if we can bring this fight to the Fleshmancer's Acolytes, Erlina, Brewgaves, maybe? He was watching us, who knows? Of course, in the next episode of Sea of Stars. But first, let's see what Garl's got to say about Yamara's pair. It was unreal!